had certainly many memorable moments because if you don't have them, you are too slow. Yes, but this means that we had to go faster <coughs> than anybody else in the corners. And coming downhill, we had to brake later. And as you said, good team. Did you brake coming downhill? <laughs> I must admit you, I did. I did. <laughs> it's a very sinister road, isn't it? Dark. Yes. Very difficult to remember. Yeah, I can never remember. Yes. Yeah. That's why we had a road run. <laughs> flat, flat left. Right minus 50, 200, kink. Very good. Did you see what speed it was? No, I didn't. 140. Sorry. Really? Yes. Miles are kind of <laughs> kilometers. <laughs> Miles would be a lot. <laughs> well, it's always a challenge if you want to win. Because whether it's straight, slight curves or hairpins, you have to be always over the limit, slightly. Not for an old man. Very good. I should be doing the handbrake for you. Did you use handbrake here? Yeah. Oh god, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I did. Your left foot braking? No, no, not yet. Handbrake. Yay! The thing about the Torini, I think, that uh, was the steepness. If you did make a mistake going downhill, you had an awful accident. Yeah, well, I had it, one. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. <laughs> it was a complete shock to the world that a district nurse's car should beat the world of motor engineering, and that's what made it front page news. Oh, it was I finished a lot of rallies in my life. Not necessarily the fastest, but you haven't won anything until you get across the finish line. In rallying, you never give up before you have come to the finish, got your prize money, and traveled away. Then it's certain. <laughs> 